right, all right, all right, Aries. We are over here, my dear, for the love portion. If you guys have not already checked out your inner self-guided message reading that I just did, y'all go check that message out. Y'all some, <laughs> y'all funny. One thing about Aries, Aries don't play. Y'all know what I always got to say. Aries, keep it there, please. Look, keep it there. <laughs> keep it there. <laughs> Keep it there. Listen, before we get into this energy, I'm going to give a shout out to all my OGs, to all my newbies, to all of my babies who have come through, like, share, subscribe, and click this video. Um, I thank you for all the love and support and the best way to show support and give free love is by hitting the like button and telling a friend to tell a friend to come and check your girl out. Yes, indeed. Um, before we get into your guided love messages for this current moment, and this message is timeless. Whenever you see it is whenever it's ready for you to receive it. Um, before we get into your love messages, we just want to give a quick shout out to God. Father God, we want to say thank you for bringing us here collectively for the sign of Aries. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for hugging us. We thank you for giving us all of the vital nutrients that we need to like shine like a diamond to shine brighter than the sun because we want the right person to see us father god we want to enhance nurture and uh make even more healthy the current relationships that aries have in their life and father god for the singles we want to call in the right person the person that is truly destined to be in aries life for the rest of their life so they can live the rest of their life in happiness peace tranquility Father God, we thank you for all the love that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Father God, please give us the guidance that Aries needs to receive today in regards to love. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. I felt that. Why they just said they want me to read the cards backwards today? Okay. Mm, I ain't did this for nobody, so... I don't know, Aries. Let's 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 brace ourselves. So, so this is um I forgot what is this deck called? The the Rebel deck. So I mixed the two of them together, the couples and the singles deck, and you know, just to see what messages we get. So like this is the deck that I've been using to close out the readings to get like one last little gut punch information and love to just you know help you move forward help make sure that you're doing what you need to do you know so uh i guess we're gonna start it off like this then so let's see three cards for aries one more tell me what's god damn like you just spitting them out ain't you shit why the first card said fuck apologize and listen i ain't starting no shit with you aries look i ain't starting no shit with you today, okay? And you see, they got this goddamn uh, all this orange and shit. It's just on, oh, yeah, it's just red or orange. It's it says stop obsessing and fuck apologizing. Oh, so it's something that you've been going through back and forth in your mind about, like real heavy, real heavy. It's like I don't know, like very sacral chakra ish, like you like. You're very in touch with your feelings and emotions right now. And um, sacral chakra is when people set boundaries. And um, it could very much so have to do with addictions. Like the lower level of the sacral chakra is definitely talk about like addictions. So for it to say stop uh, obsessing and fuck apologizing. It's some decision that you made and you standing on it. You going off of what your feelings are at the current moment, what your gut is telling you. So fuck apologizing, and don't accept, uh, don't obsess about it. You made your decision, stand on it. And y'all definitely need to go and watch that inner self guidance message because it's already clicking in. It says, if you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself. Oh my God, this is the exact same message. From the inner guy. Y'all go and watch that fucking reading. <laughs> y'all go and watch. I'm not even about to tell y'all the title. Go and watch that reading first and then come back here. It says everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Oh 
my god and why all of these cards are all orange shankable chakra yo because i'm not even about to spill it because i want to so bad tell y'all what the other reading is about but i am not y'all go and watch that inner self guidance because i really feel like this message in love is going to make so much sense and i understand why god told me to start reading these cards backwards because we needed to start out we need to start out with like the curse words because y'all know how Aries like they shit gutter. Okay. <laughs> Aries like they shit gutter. They're like, uh uh, Reds. Don't sweet fluff our way through that shit. No, bitch. Get, get, what's popping, poo? Aries like, man, fuck y'all niggas. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. If you are pissed at where you at, then stop taking yourself there. Everyone has a turn. Welcome to yours. Get your tired ass up and handle it. If you don't like certain situations, certain people, certain environments, stop fucking going there. Pack your shit up and do what you need to do. And I'm, I'm letting it. Well, clearly, it's already being said here, which is being said at the other place. Y'all have made a final decision to get the fuck some ain't working for you. It ain't gelling right. You are not like. I feel like at a certain point, Aries used to feed to their lower level ego and would get into the petty arguments, would get into the petty debates because of the sum up by Aries that they kind of like that shit. Made their dick out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, give them something to make up to a little bit later. But, man, that shit getting old. That shit get tired. That shit is null and void like i i just i don't even want this shit around me no more it 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 done got toxic 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 to the third power level toxic and, and anytime i can't deal you know it's real okay it says you're going through tough shit make better fucking choices these cards is really trying to smack you in the damn face today. But Aries needed to hear this shit. And I just posted something on my on my um Instagram page. It is only certain signs that can like fuck with Scorpio and understand the tidal waves and, 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 and the towers and the stuff that Scorpios go through. That's fucking Aries. I just heard Aquarius. Aquarius might, yeah, but Aquarius seem like they ain't got no goddamn feelings about shit half the time. Like they just don't give a fuck, okay? But Aries understands Scorpios. Taurus, because that's our opposite sign, understands Scorpio because we're just alike but just a little bit different. Capricorns, I always get along with Capricorns. We understand each other very well. In Libras, in fucking Libras, and I feel like. We all go through this stage of metamorphosis in our life where we be making the dumbest fucking decisions ever. But it's like when we make our decision that we like, man, fuck this shit. We not no choirs. We not no whiners. We not no beggars. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that I can say that we do is we might hold on to toxic situations a little bit longer than what we should. But when we make the decision to kick rocks or tell somebody to kiss our ass, oh baby, it's the best fucking ass kissing that <laughs> you don't ever seen, okay? Because we mean that shit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so all together, this is stop, stop obsessing. Fuck apologizing. You're going through some tough shit. So make better decisions. And behind the stop obsessing, it says, seriously, just do it. Stop fucking obsessing. Just, just stop. Stop. Like, I, I'm getting that you're better than this. And then it says, oh, no, hold on. No, this is the fuck apologizing. This one says serious. Seriously, just do it. No, we're not apologizing to shit. It says you are not the center. You are not. It says seriously, just do it. You are not the, ser the center of the fucking universe. Yeah. So, forgive me because I'm having a slim, slow moment, y'all. I, I wanna, I wanna read it the way that it came from last time again. So stop obsessing, fuck apologizing. If you are pissed at where you're at, then stop taking yourself there. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. 
And when we flip it, it says, seriously, just do it. You are not the fucking center of the universe. You're going through some tough shit. Make better decisions. So basically what they're saying is like the world doesn't revolve around you. And if you if you really want things to get better, you have to create that environment yourself. You got to stop taking yourself there. You got to stop interacting with these people. You got to stop obsessing about it. Like if you made a decision to pack your shit up and move on or to disassociate or displace somebody. Because I just heard displace somebody. Don't keep checking up on them. Don't keep worrying about it. Like when you make a decision, like you need to find some way to like cleanse, cleanse your energy of it so that you can like healthily move on. You know what I'm saying? Don't feel no guilt or nothing about it because... Like, Aries, you know what you're doing. Seriously, just do it. You're not the fucking center of the universe. So, the world does not stop because you got something going on. You're going through some tough shit. Just make better decisions. You have the answers. Like you've been, And that is the other thing that was said in the other message. It's like you didn't need any help. Because the Six of Swords is when someone's moving away because they, knew, they need new beginnings. And it's like... They're safer elsewhere, but they're typically getting some type of aid and assistance. It, Aries said, I don't need shit. I carry this shit by myself. Look, you got the fool. I told y'all, y'all moving in judgment. I'm not even about to take no more fucking. I can't. You got the fool in judgment. I just heard it's time to take this show on the road. It's your call. It's time to take this show on the road. It is your call. It is time to take this show on the road. And there's nothing else that I need to say from these two cards. It's your call. It is your call. And you got the nine of pentacles in the reverse right here. It's something that is like unsatisfactory. And I feel like it's getting in the way of your abundance. And again, go back and watch the other video. Because your abundance is coming in. It's just something that you need to change. Something you need to change. Make better fucking choices if you were pissed at where you are then stop taking yourself there it's your environment that's keeping you in a state of lack it's not you it's not you and you just gotta it's like you gotta release and you gotta let go but judgment day is coming judgment day is coming people are going to have to answer to the problems they created. You're going to have to. You're going to have to answer to this. Don't think that anything goes on in the dark. That will not come to the light. You will have to answer to it one day. Just because God don't come down and knock on your door like. Hey can I talk to Aries? Yeah. Tell that girl. Or tell that boy that you be dealing with. To come on out here. Yeah we, 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 we need to address some shit. And lay some shit on the table. Because um, what's this shit that you're doing? What's going on now? Just because God don't come down and knock on your door and make you face forward and address some shit that don't mean that life ain't making you do some checks and balances. Okay? So I definitely see you making a judgment call and you walking out on faith. You were taking a big risk right now, Aries. But you were trusting in yourself. You trusting in your intuition. And trusting in everything that you're doing and everything that God told you is coming your way. And now that you finally, finally are stepping out of the way, you're going to receive justice. You're going to receive justice. And you're going to get it because you made a very good judgment call. You chose yourself. The, the bear. This is taking authority over your life. This is about authority, prosperity, abundance, ambition, manifestation, giving and receiving, changing the cycles of your life, stepping under new management. So I don't know if you've just upgraded your current financial situation because you're stepping in a more managerial role or you're just better managing your emotion you see how the bear is putting that mask on so I just heard ain't nobody finna rob me of a good time like I'm gonna keep my poker face on 
And it's like you're not letting people know know what you're doing. I feel like supervisors don't go on the floor and discuss management business with the colleague, with the other colleagues and employees. It's like you got to keep a straight face. You got to be professional. You got to be poised. You got to be courteous. You got to be like a dignitary. You know what I'm saying? Like very... I heard up right and on point. So, with that, you're going through tough shit. Make better choices. Having that risk taker. Yeah, you're definitely stepping up. You got that boss hog hat on. I got You mean business. And, like, the bear is about protection, too. It's about... Oh, the litanies. Okay, and you're maturing. I like that. I like that, Aries. This is supposed to be about love, but I feel like this is more about your life than about love. But it's going to take you to the love of your lifetime. Because I'm I, I y'all just said this is about love. This is about love. Okay. Alright. Um The Lilies is about sexuality and you maturing sexually. I just heard I'm not so much of a dog as I used to be. I just want one person. Because honestly, the Lilies is about a mature individual that wants um, like a committed relationship. Like they're not all over the place spreading their seed and things like that. And again, like I said, with the bear, it's about protecting, nurturing their family. Like, you know, like... um. I don't you don't you don't hear about bears going around having multiple partners. It's just the mother bear, the father bear, and they protect their cubs and you know what I'm saying? Like a family. So it I really do feel like Aries is really looking for the nurturing love of a family. And the nurturing card did come out. I just feel like Aries is more mature now and trying to take trying to take the bull by the horn it's like i'm not scared to do what i need to do to receive and achieve the level of happiness and the type of the the type of relationship that i want it's like when i come home i want to come home to a peaceful setting this also represents peace tranquility love affection like emotional gestures like even someone just coming to give you a warm hug. You're like, oh my God, I missed you. Like, I really missed you. And you really receiving that. Sometimes people just need a warm hug. Like a genuine, genuine hug. Like someone that genuinely cares. Like, you know, you come home with someone asking about your day and be fully enthralled in everything that you're saying. As if they, it's like they, it's like when you come home it's almost like they're listening to Maury Povich or something. Like, they're so enthralled with who you are, what you do, and everything that's going on in your life. It's just like someone's living a fairy tale. And I just heard it's like I'm patient and I'm waiting for that type of love. I feel like you just had something else sitting in the way. Whoever this is that you may be dealing with you might be at a great distance. And then Aries just said, I'm focused. You see the green. I'm focused the green and orange. I'm focused on love and my feelings and my emotional needs at this time. I'm 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 focusing on my heart. I'm focusing on my heart. Being open to new people, new ideas, you know. It's getting balanced. Get balanced. I feel like you're very excited. And you see how this person got their little... You're definitely moving. I, I would not be surprised if Aries is moving with them. I want to say by November, you'll be well settled into your new place, honey. I want to say so settled that you almost forgot where you was coming from. Like, you forgot that you had spent several years dealing with this bullshit. Like, no bullshit. And I know I ain't just see the nine of goddamn pentacles or the nine of cups just hit my goddamn. Oh, this is the six of pentacles. 
So yeah, you guys are most definitely receiving an increase. So I don't know, you guys might be receiving a raise, pay advance. Um, someone really likes your quality of your work, really likes what you're doing. And wants to be able to gift you something, wants to be able to give you something to like increase your momentum. You know what I'm saying? Like you never be a good, effective and efficient leader if you don't acknowledge your good workers, if you don't give them a little bonus, if you don't increase their salary, if you don't acknowledge their work and stuff like that. Even if someone says like, hey, I might have fallen on some luck. I need I need some help. Um, it's about your character. Are you a good person? Is this someone that would do it for me? I feel like you are in a place where you are having this influx of increase right now, Aries. People are more giving to you. You're more on the receiving end. Of these blessings. I don't feel like you're having to go out of your way. And squander around all of your energy. And running around like a chicken with your head cut off. And barely coming home with nothing. It's like. At this point in your. At this stage of your life. You have more than enough. Not only to help yourself. But to help others. Like. You're. Yeah. You're on the receiving end. Of a financial increase. So that you can help. Take care of other people in need. Like I, I want to say like how people did for you. But this time it's like your discernment. Your arm of discernment. Is like so far reaching. It is so far reaching. And it's only grasps and holds on things that are really obtainable. And that I'll give back to them. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not giving you this loan. I'm not helping nobody that will not. Even make the effort to go out there. And. I just heard I'm not. Your prize escape. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I could try to figure out what it means. But it's like you're not. Giving to people who won't go and do for themselves. Okay. Your prize escape. It's like. Um. Cause I got, like I said, the six of pentacles is like gift giving. It's someone on the receiving end of a bountiful harvest that they didn't work for though. You know what I'm saying? Like you're asking someone for, for help and someone because they have enough to give to you. They're like, sure, I help you. It's not because it's no sweat to them. They got more than enough. But this card is very much so about call, uh, was it cost and balances or something like that? Only giving to people that acknowledge and receive that blessing, that receive that help. And again, are putting themselves in the position that if you ever needed help yourself, would do it for you gladly and willingly. You see what I'm saying? So it's something also about with this bear. I feel like you guys are making better choices because you have to because of the level of increase in abundance that's coming into your life. You have to kind of mask your status. Like, I feel like you cool with everybody, but you low key the manager. But like a lot of people don't know that. I feel like you might be wearing a mask because you want to see how other people work. You want to see who to give raises to or something. Or maybe this might be your boss. I don't know. I just heard you got good people looking at you. And you are going to be on the receiving end of the blessing. I just heard that there was a lot of downtime, but things are about to pick back up to so keep going, keep up the momentum. You are being seen and being recognized and being held in favor. I feel like whoever the supervisor, whoever it is, is like masking. That they look at you like this. But you are about to be on the receiving end of a major gift or a major blessing. Like I said, it could be financial increase so that you can help other individuals. And again, you see all that green? Like his heart is pure. The colors make so much sense. And again, 
the colors make so much sense. Look at them. They're beggars. They're poor. They need help. You're, you're far from that. You're far from that. And again, I want to say it has something to do with bottom feeders. Like low bearing fruit as well. It's like being careful not to give to low bearing fruit. It's like, yeah, these people are destitute and they need help, but you could give a poor person a fish that they could eat that night, but if you actually take them to the lake and teach them how to fish, will they be a poor person anymore? So, you want to be able to put yourself in a predicament or somebody's about to put you in a predicament because you jumped out on faith like that and because you're so heart driven and I'm going to say it's like you're so healthy as well somebody's true intentions for you is being masked, is being covered up, is being hidden because their eyes in their favor is on you they think that you're a very good individual I see this four coins right here. So, um, why am I getting such a work message in the love reading? But it's like um, that four pentacles right here. I do see like you've been reserving yourself. You have been keeping yourself back. You have been a little bit of stingy with your time and with your energy. God sees how much more balanced you are. That's why you're in this position. And they are in this position. Anyway. Yeah, you got the four cups in the reverse. I was about to say it's like you're sober now. Maybe we would talk about like addictions or something earlier. I feel like you're sober. You don't regret anything that you're doing. You can think clear now. You're not making um, spastic or uh, what's the word? Like impatient decisions. It's like because you sit back waiting on. I mean, I just do the shit myself. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like not thinking about what you're doing you know what i'm saying because it's like more so doing something out of a level of frustration than really going inside and figuring out making the next move my best move i feel like you have tempered all of that like the rain has stopped the sun is finally out you can see the rainbows you don't want to sit inside and mope anymore and just Looking out the window at the rainy day, it's like, um, I just heard I'm about to catch some worms and go fishing. God damn it. I'm about to catch some worms and go motherfucking fishing. I know that's right. I know that's right. You feel more awake now. You feel more alive than what you usually do. And you guys are more happy. And I like that the judgment come in here with the sobering card because I definitely feel like you guys are sobered up from drugs and alcohol, any type of unnecessary. I'm saying sexual abuse in this in a in a sense of like too much masturbation. Not for nothing. Can we talk about that for a moment? I feel like people that are Constantly masturbate, masturbate all day, all day out. Number one, I know your hands are scabbed up. And why are you abusing yourself like that? Why are you abusing yourself like that? Like, stop it. I just, I don't understand people that have a, you know what, let me, let me mind my business. Let me mind my business. Let me mind my business. Don't worry about what people be doing with their bodies. They body, they body, they can beat it up if they want to, okay? <laughs> But I feel like it's like you're not abusing yourself sexually. Have it be by dating unworthy people. Like I said, too much um, masturbation or too much watching porn and all that stuff like that. I feel like you kind of just like 
let all of that kind of temper and die out like I want to say like celebratory like allowing the energy or the juices to juice back up or something like that it just why well, I feel like Nick like you was just busting water like somebody was just busting so much like and why do I feel like someone was like masturbating out of boredom and frustration Cause they ain't want what they had at home. I'm so I honestly feel like someone was like listening to each other that you're not attracted to. This person doesn't do it for you. Y'all argue. This person makes you upset. Like you be trying to find other places to go. Like you might have went and picked up a secondary job just to say like it was bad. You know what I'm saying? So especially with this up here, seriously, just do it. You're not the fucking center of the universe. You're going through some tough. Shit just make better decisions. So tell me what's going on. The dragonfly. I know that's right. Okay. I just heard like hovering over your emotions right now. It's like I've been having my thoughts heavily on it, but I ain't do it yet. I ain't do it yet, and I ain't even read that card to see what the hell that card says. You got soulmates. Come on, soulmate card. Alright, that's it. Engagement ring. Come on now. And then I tell y'all I had a fucking mask on. So I can't remember everything that I said earlier in the reading, but Ooh, and then at the top of this one it says get hot and sweaty work out grow old as fuck together it's getting hot and sweaty work out and grow old as fuck together didn't i say something about you guys taking care of your body and something like that and i feel like you guys are rejuvenating all of the Come and shit all up in your nutsack. Because I feel like you was beating it all out. You was beating it all out at first. Or something like that. I feel like that ain't healthy. I like it. Give it. Give. Oh, let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. I feel like. um, Your name. Is on the. Is in high places. And in, in on the lips of, 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 of. Some very. High ranking individual. Um. There could be someone that um, is at a high stature or you're of high stature that you may be taking a risk on something new, something brand new. You've traveled long and far. I feel like you're just trying to play your position right now. You're trying to play it safe. I don't feel like you were trying to expose your, your cards right now because you're being more mature. You're being more diplomatic. You're being more thought right. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But yeah, it's like you're not. I feel like you're not exposing the position that you're in because you're in the position to give a lot and or your mold just changed in the type of person that you are and you're willing to give to where so I, maybe you weren't. I want to say like you masked. The way that you felt about a lot of things until it's like it all exploded. Like either exploded like volatilely or passionately. Like you could be talking to somebody and truly into them and really want to just give them everything. Give them everything. Like especially if it's somebody that you know that's in need. And it's like I know this girl is hurting right now. And it's like she doesn't ask you for anything. Anything at all. But you know it's like this is somebody in need and you're in a position to give to them. But remember what I said it's about. What I just said Aries just said. It was just raining, pouring, pouring, pouring. Like I said, Aries been watching all this shit, been bored. Feeling like they missing shit out of life and everything. They done took some time and sobered up and stuff. And instead of going back outside, getting into the same old bullshit that they used to get into. They said, man... The ground is moist. It's a hot sunny day. I'm about to go collect me some worms and go fishing. 
you know and I said something about teaching someone giving someone a fish or teaching someone how to fish and the fact that you said that you're going to get up and go fishing yourself I feel like that really impresses somebody because you are making better decisions you're taking full accountability for the way that your life looks like now and, and and we see you growing you got the dragonfly that was the first one that came out it said be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt change heal remember i said it's like you hovering over your emotions so it's like you're being more in tune with your emotional needs right now you're not doing shit just because you think you should do it just because it's habit now is it right for me is this a good connection? Am I happy when I get home? If I need some, would you give to me? Do I want to give to you? Like all of that type of stuff. You are hovering over your emotions now. And you are being more forthright and thinking about the matters of your heart and the concerns of your heart. And that's the only thing that matters to you. And even though the dragonfly could be looked at as a water sign, it's, you know, truly an air sign. But you got to know matters of the heart and your true intentions to know how to speak and to bring it into fruition. So you've been hovering over your, hovering over your emotions to get the correct vantage point to know where you're going. Because this is also giving me flight energy you know air signs and swords represents fast quick movements so now that you are adapting to the change of your environment we don't say that you don't move you don't came through some tough shit you're making better decisions um i feel like you're masking exactly what it is that you're about to do right now because you're in a better predicament and i don't think you want everybody knowing where you're going and what you're about to do and it looks like now that all of these things that were overlooking you, that were passing you by because of your situation, because of your environment, because of the things that you used to do, and because you weren't sober enough, now that you waking up, you're more alive, you're more free-spirited, your heart knows where it wants to go now. Baby, you got the soulmate card and engagement ring. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contracts, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. And in your other reason, I would, in your other reason, in your other, yeah, your other reason, in your other reading, I had mentioned something about putting pieces of the puzzle together and Someone wasting a whole bunch of time on a puzzle with a whole bunch of missing pieces and understanding why they never got the big picture. This one singular move, and um, I'm wrapping this up. This is the end. This one singular move, you finding out where you are now, like truly grounding yourself with that sacral chakra energy. Trusting yourself. Letting go of, it, of old addictions and things that you used to do to create room for new beginnings. It like kickstarted something in your life that not only is your finances in the uprise, your stature is in the uprise, okay? Your position in life ain't the same no more. And you got engagement. And soulmates here. So like at first I was like. Why is this supposed to be a love reading? Why is this not giving love? Why is it giving like. All of this other stuff. Because. Even though it was giving. It was giving love. Um, I feel like God had to pinpoint. Number one. Your growth and maturity. And God wanted you to know that he sees it. And everything that's coming to you. You truly deserve it. Don't question yourself. Don't question yourself at all areas. You know what you want. You know what you need to do. You know what's best for you and you know what's best for your family. And God is going to see to it that you have it. 
Trust me. All the thing you got to do is walk out on faith. That one, that one decision that you made to choose yourself. That one decision that you made to do something different. Put you in a whole totally different vantage point. Put you in a whole totally different role of importance in this universe. So Aries, you choose you and um, dare to be different. I fucking love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. You know, for spending this time with me. Because I know I feel like I was very long-winded in this reading. So, I'm sorry if this reading is a little bit longer than everybody else's. But I had to give y'all that time. Y'all know I love my Aries. Keep it there, please. Y'all put y'all hit that like button. Y'all send me some messages on Instagram. Y'all tap in with your sister. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Thank you for loving me. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.